What's the crack everyone? Welcome to your Thursday round of short and sweet. We're going to cover everything new because Blitz is back, baby. I, I kind of give a few hints that Blitz was going to be coming back, putting up a few videos and stuff. A lot of people waiting for this pack. And again, it's going to be ching, ching, ching all the way because Blitz Carter has definitely been one that a lot of people have been waiting on. We also has, have AFC Champions League. Not too, re, not too concerned about that when we get into it in a second. Also, we will be getting the new login bonus as well, right? So I've already logged in here and, you know, because we had the screen on, we will be getting our first free login bonus for this week. So it's kicking off another week. We also have our rewards for the time attack trials. We have our other login bonuses here that will continue on. The login bonus with Beckenbauer will still be able to get that here. And of course, as well as that, we will have brand new objectives. So they've added the second batch of objectives here. I had cleared all the objectives, right? So they've added a total of 14 new objectives um, that you will be able to clear to get 14 new spins. Well, they haven't added 14 objectives, but you'll be able to get 14 spins by clearing these objectives, if that makes sense. With the login bonuses, that's going to be another 15 at Beckenbar. So by my odds, I reckon you'll have about maybe 9 or 10 spins left on Beckenbar if you clear all the objectives and if you've logged in every day since it came up. Because you can see, we've claimed all of these already. And we had loads of extra spins, but now they've added even more. And I think it's 14 in total, right? Around that, in or around that. In terms of everything else, boys, they have talked a little bit about a couple of issues as well. Just small things, right? There was an issue there with the eFootball League. Um, users who were relegated or remain in the current eFootball League. And they also talked about achievement statuses of in-match objectives. I actually had it as well that somebody sent me on Discord that they had completed the objective, but it hadn't actually uh, came true. So it'll be interesting to see if they got the rewards. It probably will be. It was just probably a display-only thing. And then, of course, it's going to be on to the cards, right? So still nothing in the eFootball Point store. Um, we still have yet to get a couple of players in there. And also with the strips and the packs and all that, This that's kind of gone the coins route as well. But it's going to be more about, I think, the actual objectives and clearing those and getting Beckenbauer, right? And, of course, the Blitz, which we'll get into in a second. I have the three Blitz curler players in my squad i'll show you them we'll bring a review on them with the new updated kind of gameplay and i'll show you the best different builds of them right but we do have english clubs here uh this is going to be online we have co-op back we have the brazilian clubs we have unlimited still ongoing as well and versus the ai we do have this brazilian clubs here this is going to be our player of the week one as well and um, that's going to get your player of the week spin we have the coppa e football italia that is going to be all the Italian players and leagues there. And event points, you just have to clear those. English league is going to be the same. And then flexible versus the AI. And European clubs and beat the clock are already on go are already either still ongoing or beat the clock is over. So the rest of the events are kind of pretty much the same. E-Football League is still continuing to go. And that won't be reset until next week. Probably when the next big patch is coming, right? But it's all about the Blitz Curler. Because I definitely think... As I said, this is going to be ching ching. I mean, there's a lot of really, uh, like, there's a lot of people that have really wanted this Blitz Curler pack. The AFC Champions League pack isn't too bad. I mean, obviously, a 96 overall momentum dribble and Malcolm is going to be pretty decent. But I just feel like that a lot of people will want the Blitz Curlers because I, I definitely think that Kia Sasala and Son, this Son here, lads, I honestly think. He's probably been my one of my top five players ever since we got him. He's just he's nearly too good, and I do think that they'll buff the Blitz Curler just slightly as well. You can train him up to everything. We'll show you our builds for these as well later on in the video, but they're just insane, absolutely insane cards. I'm not saying that you should go for them. I'm not saying that this is an endorsement to say like, oh, they're so good that you have to spin. I mean, that's up to you guys. I mean, are they good cards? Yes. The Blitz Curler kind of comes and goes sometimes. This is the rest of the pack they have in here. I'm going to be streaming later on today, as we always do. We're going to be doing a deep dive. We're going to be playing the three of these boys in our squad and showing you exactly what they are uh, like on the pitch. But you guys have seen me use them before. I'll show you a couple of clips with Sun and that. On to the player of the week. We actually have two selections here. We have a league selection, which is the Brazilian selection. And we also have our worldwide player of the week. So Foden is not quite up to the level that I thought he would be at. I thought we would get a you know an end of season kind of uh, Foden. But he actually only goes to a 95. But we do have Pedri with a booster. We have Tami Ashu, We have Caicedo. And of course, we have Casemiro and Matete. Uh, Matete, this guy, a lot of people asking for him. Um, you know, he's a big beast as well. Man, he looks about 7 foot 4 there in that uh, picture. And uh, his crotch is just completely uh, tucked in. I don't know why they use that picture, but it's a weird one. But he has soul control. He's one-touch pass. Area superiority, a fairly decent card as well. I will do a full review on the player of the week here. Foden looks pretty decent. He's a whole player. He's down with a max booster as well. Acceleration, balance, dribbling, tight possession. 
and finishing all going to be you know at 90 over 90 or around that um really really nice double touch as well i'll do a full review on those players and the picks of them as well and of course you can get your free one as well with the events that we just showed you uh there a, a little bit ago right the rest of the cards here that we have on going you have your free beckham bar so we have 23 spins left on beckham bar we've got one more spin here and then we're going to have 14 more in the objectives that we can earn today so roughly we're going to have nine players left in this beckham bar pack after today when we clear all the objectives hopefully and it's just more about scoring goals and getting wins and playing against the ai a little bit i'll probably sim those now or kind of clear those now um, so that we have the beckham bar spins for stream but that's pretty much it boys there's nothing else really there um that are going that's going to excite you too much i mean obviously we are now in uh kind of a, a system where we are going to be getting we know now we're going to be getting the three um different types of cards every monday and thursday also interestingly enough as well we've just spotted here that this guy actually has blitz curler so he's one of the first cards in a long time to have blitz curler i definitely reckon that they're going to bring a blitz curler pack again in the euros or they'll have one or two of the cards with blitz curler i feel like that they'll probably tweak it a little bit though and um, when they make the next big gameplay update but let's see what happens right in other words you still have the or in other in other uh, developments here as well you still have the, the daily game going on you can still continue to to pound through that if you want to obviously we have cleared i think we have one more section to clear before we get our last player wiltshire i think on this profile is what we need hopefully um i think there's two players left on this but we are working towards that worldwide chance deal there um with these two players left now i have jack wiltshire on my other profile and he's a beast the rest of the players i have cleared maradona costa corta are dominating um it doesn't matter what profile they're free to play it doesn't matter they're just able to to produce it but yeah it's going to be pretty much this lads until we you know get the next big big update like that is kind of where i would go with it um you've got all your rewards in here we also have a situation that's going to happen now i think that with the mobile anniversary uh, celebration here with the campaign objectives a lot of people were asking me and i did a video on it yes if you add those up there's 74 between the login bonuses to, uh, which are 21 for three weeks and then the 53 the campaign objectives that is because if somebody misses an objective or they're not able to score six goals or 12 goals in the events or they don't have time to grind it that you don't have to get every single objective cleared i think that's nice it's a nice little buffer and i actually think you must i must give them credit now for this this beckenbar one is probably the first time in a long long time that people are actively grinding something in the game and you might say like oh why not just give us beckenbar where we don't have to do anything you know or oh i haven't gotten beckenbar in in 25 spins i like the fact that there's a bit of a grind in this that people are you know logging in they're going to log in today and they're going to try and clear all the the or the objectives to get beckenbar let me know what you guys think but yeah it's all about blitz today i will see you in the stream later don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button and i'll talk to you then